Hey guys, good evening. And thank you very much for joining today. Um, good evening. Good evening, hello. Good, good evening. evening. Well, so I'm going to start sharing, you know, the information that I brought for you for class number two. And uh, just bear with me. There we go. Just one second. Okay, very good. So here we have, right, this is the information that we're going to be um, using for today. Well, guys, so thank you very much for um, joining on time, right? And also, right, um, well, this is going to be session two or session one, right? So let me just very quickly correct that. Okay, so um, session two, right, that's going to be May 31st. And um, this week, remember that we're working with sections one and two right so if you can complete those exercises, that's gonna be you know wonderful so yesterday guys we started working uh with well a little bit with introducing yourself and i gave you three different steps right that you can follow for you to prepare pro introductions right so the name of the first section is called well the name of this particular you know topic is called what are you from Right. And we read a conversation and we were able also to go through the different, you know, phrases that we can use. Right. Todo eso fue lo que vimos ayer. Right. So we started phrases about, you know, um, saying who you are. Right. It's some phrases that you can use. Right. To uh, talk a little bit about you. Right. And if you want, let's go ahead and very quickly, you know, share that information through the chat. Right. So you can uh, get, you know, that over here as well. Bear with me. <clears throat> OK. Let's see here, I'm going to share it with you. So this is the first one, right? We were saying, say who you are, right? Then also we uh, talked about point number through number two, say what you do, right? So yesterday we were practicing some phrases, right? About the things that you can use, right? To say what you do, okay? I Bear with me, I wanted to <laughs> take the screenshot so I can share it, you know, in the chat. I think this is going to be okay. So this is the second one. Say what you do, right? This is this one, right? Sí, lo siento. Es que me estaba preguntando si los comparto, pero toma tiempo. Entonces, para no estar tomando tiempo para eh, tomarlos, por eso les recomiendo que los tomen ustedes, ¿verdad? Para que... No, no, no tenga yo que detenerme, ¿verdad? Y perdamos minutos de la clase. Así de que por hoy se los comparto, pero quizás lo mejor pues es que cada quien vaya tomándolos como mejor le convenga o como mejor le parezca. Pero por esta vez se los voy a compartir yo, ¿verdad? Para que los ocupemos también en los breakout rooms, ¿ok? Ahí está, ¿ok? So, well, thank you so much, right? And... Um, or bit on time, I was saying. So just, those are the different things that we started yesterday, right? So we started uh, say what you say, who you are, that we were reviewing the phrases that we have, you know, on screen. Then say what you do, and with say what you do, we have two different, you know, uh, sections. And last but not least, it was what others need to know. Right, so this is like a like a way for you to be able to have a better understanding, right, on how to, you know, um, provide you know your information. So say who you are. In that case, you can uh, you know provide your name, right? You can um, let the people know how you want to be called, right? Uh, also, you can. Um, say phrases, you know, if you already know the person, right? Si ya lo conoce o no lo conoce. So that's going to be something that will be very, very useful. And then also um, in this part, right, you can include only your name, 
probably if you want, you know, um, how you want to be called and if you want to add also your age, that's going to be fine. And then the, um, the second part, it was say what you do. And yesterday we were studying some phrases, right, that you can use to talk about, you know, your job title, right? So the second step might sound simple, but it's actually the most important part. Usually people say their name and their job title, right? So um, there you have the example that I gave you yesterday. Hey, I'm a teacher. Officially, my job is to prepare content, plan, and prepare PPT presentations for my class. But really, I help students to improve their English um, the instructor, which is a fancy way of saying that I am in charge of the class and make sure that the students receive the proper instruction in the most efficient way. I'm sorry, efficient way possible, right? So those are some phrases that you can include, right? Uh, whenever you know um, you are talking about your job title, so what you do, your duties, verdad? Las cosas que usted hace en su trabajo. And then we were saying, right, in number two, what you do, lo que usted hace, lo que usted se dedica. What you do is lo que usted, a lo que usted se dedica, pretty much, ¿verdad? Y ayer pues vimos frase por frase, right, and I gave you an example. I'm a teacher. I've been working with this academy since 2020, and my responsibilities include planning, preparing content, teaching, and helping students to learn. It's all about making sure they accomplish a good level of English, right? So this, that was the second part. Say or talk about what you do, a lo que usted se dedica. So vimos frase por frase, re, revisamos el vocabulario, revisamos pronunciación, right? And then we move to this part. Luego nos movimos para esta parte que era what others need to know about you. Okay, so there, guys, it says the last bit of a professional introduction consists of adding other nice facts that are relevant to the people in the context, right? So, for example, if you want the other person to know your nationality, right, you can include that. So, you can let them know how you like to be called. You can tell them where you come from, right, or where have you been living, where you have been living, I'm sorry. Where you grew up, a donde creció, a donde vive, de donde viene. I enjoy, I like, I love. So when we use enjoy, like, love, we talk about our hobbies, about the things that we like, right? And then I'm really into, cuando yo, pues yo estoy involucrada en algo que me gusta mucho, right? Activities, right? In this case, the example talks about jazz music, right? So also, if you are studying, si ya estudió, si está estudiando, I have a degree in, tengo pues un título en, verdad, o un grado de educación en, or I'm studying, estoy estudiando, que está estudiando, I'm studying a major in English, right, in English teaching. Entonces, esta parte de what others need to know, es cuando yo quiero que la otra persona sepa esas, esas, esos, eh, esos detalles específicos acerca de mí. Right, but if I don't want the other person to know, you can omit some of them. Puedo omitir algunos de ellos, right? Well, I don't know if you have a question from yesterday. Alguna pregunta de la clase de ayer, que es lo que acabamos de mencionar así rapidito. Okay, very good. So if we don't have questions, guys, uh, what I need you to know is the following, okay? I need you to go ahead and um, go to the um, to the breakout rooms, right? I will send you to breakout rooms. Once there, una vez ahí, I want you to listen, you know, to uh, um, to you introducing to your classmates. ¿Qué vamos a hacer en los breakout rooms? Vamos a trabajar en parejas, right? Y vamos a estar pues eh, presentándonos unos con otros. La idea es que usted utilice frases de las que les compartí ayer, ¿verdad? Una de esas frases pues están aquí ya en el chat que yo les compartí las capturas de pantalla, right? Eh, pero pues para eso se las compartí para que las tenga a la mano. So put them into practice, póngalas en práctica. Ok, así que voy a detener aquí la presentación por un momento and I will send you to the breakout rooms. So right now we are 19 people. Huh. Let's go ahead and have, just in case, right? Nine rooms, well, 10 rooms, just in case. 
So, um, si veo a alguien porque está solito, lo voy a mover a otro room y voy a estar ingresando a cada uno de ellos para ir escuchando lo que ustedes están compartiendo, ¿ok? Si usted me necesita en ese breakout room, por favor, llámeme y yo voy a estar directamente ahí. Yo voy a entrar directamente a ese room. Así que, let's go ahead, guys, and click on accept and access to the breakout rooms right now. I'm sorry, do you have a question? Do you have a question? No, no you don't? Okay, don't mind me. No, um, how can I say it? Um, I, I'm just here to listen to you. Estoy aquí para escucharlos, okay? Okay. Yo siento que me está costando un poquito la clase porque su inglés es, es muy fluido y no lo estoy comprendiendo todo de un solo. Entendería que ahorita vamos a presentarnos en relación a, las, a la clase del día de ayer usando los términos. Yes, you can use the terms, right? I mean, if you want. And um, some of the phrases, I mean... I gave you the vocabulary so you can put it into practice, right? La idea es que usted tenga las frases, pero para que usted las empiece a utilizar, pero no tiene que usarlas todo de un, todo de un solo. Eh, por supuesto, aquí hay bastante, um, I would say, um, you have to learn by heart, right? Hay que memorizarlas, ¿verdad? O sea, entre más usted las utilice, pues más cómodo se va a sentir utilizándolas, right? And about, you know, the class, about um, speaking in English, eh, pues sí, al principio, eh, y es algo que ayer olvidé decirles, ¿verdad? Eh, we, we have to get used to it. Tenemos que acostumbrarnos porque al principio, pues, nos cuesta, ¿verdad? Vamos a tener como ese inconveniente a veces de grasp, ¿verdad? Tomar toda la idea de lo que me están diciendo. Pero si yo no me expongo al idioma, entonces muy difícilmente voy a, voy a mejorar en él, right? Entonces, uh, I like what you said, that even though you have, you know, um, Um, that situation, right? I know that you're going to do your best, you know, to um, to participate in the different activities. Eh, la idea, pues, de que se dé la clase en inglés es esa. Esta es la única hora en la que usted tiene para poder practicar, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, de ahí, pues, queda su práctica, pero ya la práctica que usted puede hacer durante el día, right? So, my recommendation, guys, would be probably to listen to music in English, right? To listen to your favorite TV shows in English, right? The thing is to, ex um, to expose yourself, you know, to get the input, ¿verdad? Poder exponernos al idioma y poder acostumbrarnos, right? But again, I mean, if you have any question, you can raise your hand and you can tell me, teacher, can you explain it again? Or teacher, uh, I didn't understand the main idea. Can you explain it again? Right? So that's, you know, um, uh, the, the, the main goal. Ese es el objetivo. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, so I will leave you so you can practice, okay? Okay. Hi, teacher. Hi, Miss Marce. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine. 
My name is Nestor. I am lawyer. I work on um, uh, finance mystery. Miss Marcia, I can hear you. Ahora? Now? No. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, for okay. some reason, yeah. I think when I uh, when I entered the room, uh, it placed me on mute. I don't know why. So hi. <laughs> I'm sorry hi. that I didn't answer before. I mean, continue. I'm sorry. She, uh, she's Paola. Paola presentation. <laughs> hi, Paola. I, okay. He's Nestor. Um, he's a lawyer. He's a lawyer, and he have uh, three guys. Um, that's <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't remember. No, don't worry. That's fine. And what about you, Paola? Can you tell okay. me a little bit about you? Okay, my name is Paola. I like, if you like, uh, you call me Paola or Pau. Mm -hmm. um, I told uh, Nestor that I study interior design oh, okay. um, in Guatemala. <laughs> and then I came here. Um, then um, I married. I have two daughters, mm -hmm. one 12 one daughter I have, uh, she have 12 years. Jeez. And the, and the other one, I have one year. Okay. When we talk but, about age, oh, I'm sorry to interrupt you, uh, Pao. When we talk about age, age, we use the verb be, right? So she is 12 years old and she so. is, uh -huh. and, and the other one, I'm sorry, one is 12 years old and the other girl? The other one is, she has, see, she have a... She is. She is, perdón. She uh -huh. is a uh, one year. Oh, she's a baby. Oh my goodness. Yes. Okay, yeah. And she drink milk. Mommy's oh. milk. <laughs> <laughs> and I have the, the time. I very um me está costando el, el, el horario. <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah, because if you are, you know, uh -huh. um, providing breastfeeding, right? So yes. you need to be there, right? And and yes. um, you and need I to change the time. Yeah, you need to schedule your activities based mm -hmm. on her schedule, right? On your baby yes. schedule. Okay, <laughs> thank you so much. But I'm here. <laughs> and yeah. I told um, Nestor that I lost my job in the pandemic. Oh, I'm Not so baby. sorry to hear that. Oh, I think we lost you, Paul. Full time. Yes. But oh. we, we leave. <laughs> yeah. And I... I I try to vender sería to sell sell mm -hmm. uh, coffee and honey. Oh really? Well, that sounds yeah. wonderful. I'm a coffee lover. Yeah, yeah I mean, okay. I think it's called entrepreneur entrepreneurship, right? Emprendimiento, entrepreneurship. So yes, and, yes. Uh, and that's wonderful because you know you see a problem as an opportunity, right? Because sometimes you mm -hmm. know we get to situations where we don't know what to do. But yes. it, there is where ideas are born. And, you know, you have, um, before you had a plan, but now you have to switch to plan B, yes. C, D, E, et cetera, right? So you saw that as an opportunity. Very good. Excellent. And, and you, Nestor, uh, what do you do? Um, I'm a lawyer. Um, I work at uh, Ministerio de Hacienda. Oh, okay. Um, do you uh, have kids? Yeah. I, three boys, three boys. Three boys, okay, wow, that's a lot, a lot junior, of work. Junior has 20, 20, uh, 20 years. He is 20 years, okay. 20 years, um, uh, David is 15, 15, 15. 15. Um, uh, uh, Rodrigo, 10, 10 years. Rodrigo is 10 years old. Okay, very good. Actually, you have a lot of work, guys. <laughs> Being a, a parent is a big responsibility, right? That's what I think. I have a daughter, yes. and she's, um, she's turning 14 years old tomorrow. So, wow, it's been a journey, right? And you you understand it's a big responsibility. Well, guys, nice talking to yes. you. I will go, uh, you know, and, and, and take a look, you know, at the other rooms. So, I'll meet you in the main room, okay? Okay. Okay. okay.
Bridget, can you hear me? Hi, Bridget. Hi, Laura. Hi, teacher. How are you? Fine. Okay. I'm talking with Bridget. Oh, okay. And uh, is she here? But, yes, but his connection is bad. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Well, but tell me a little bit about you, um, Laura. Okay. Um, I'm an economist. I'm <gasps> working at Ministerio de Hacienda. Um, I was born in Santa Ana, mm -hmm. but I live in San Salvador. Oh, okay. And for how long have you lived in San Salvador? For how many years? Um, 40 years. 40 years. Oh, <laughs> okay. So and... I was born in Santa Ana, but mm -hmm. I moved. Yes, but I I always live in San Salvador. So you, after you were born? Yes. You were brought to, uh, yes. to San Salvador. Okay. My Very brothers, good. my brothers mm -hmm. uh, were, were born here. Nacieron, in San Salvador. Oh, okay. So you are you are the um uh, the oldest sister. Yes. Oh, I understand. Okay, do you have, have kids? I have a brother, um, a sister. A brother and a sister. Well, you have two siblings, right? When we say yes. the word siblings, is because it's either a boy or a girl. So you have two siblings. Very How good. How do you say? Siblings. I will uh, type it in the chat. Oh, well, but I'm not pretty sure if you will be able to see it. Sibling is one, right? Hermano or hermana. And you can say, I have two siblings, right? Okay. Two siblings. I have siblings. Mm -hmm. siblings. Yes. Exactly. Yes. I, I'm married, but mm -hmm. I don't have children. Oh, okay. I understand. Well, in my case, I have one daughter. Um, she's turning 14 tomorrow. And well, she's the only one, right? I, We haven't decided, you know, if we're going to have a second baby, but so far, only one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. It's a big responsibility, actually, Laura. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I don't know what happened with Brigitte. Eh, but eh, I will have to leave you for a moment. Uh, tal vez ella regrese en un momento. Voy a revisar otro salón y luego nos vemos en el main room, ¿ok? Ok, bye teacher. Bye. You're welcome. Ok. Ya nos llamaron, mire. Okay. Ah, no, quita la teacher ahorita. Hi, no, guys. No, Hi. I'm just here to listen to you, okay? Que, okay? No, pensé que nos estaba llamando, perdón. No yet, <laughs> todavía no, okay? I just ah, want vale, you to vale. listen uh, a little bit about you, okay? So, well, you continue. I'm just listening. Okay. Yes. <laughs> But, um, your responsibility uh, in, your, in your job? Okay, um, my responsibility in my job is to prepare a um, class, uh, prepare uh, docu documents and teaching uh, with the, um, a boys and girls the first grade. Oh. So you are a teacher then. Yes. Oh, yes. Okay. First graders, right? Yes. First grade. Uh, uh, first grade. Yes. Oh my goodness! Uh, Go ahead, Anne. <laughs> colegas, a colegas. Yeah, yes. she's a colleague. Exactly. A colleague. Okay. And and you know what? I have always admired the people that were with little kids in elementary school because in my yes. case, <laughs> I don't feel you know I don't feel ready to work with kids. I have worked with third graders tercer grado, third graders, and yes. also fourth grade, and I loved it, me encantó, I mean, I really had a good experience, but with 
you know, children that, that are under eight years old, that's that will be a little bit difficult, at least for me. Yes, <laughs> so yes, it's difficult, but uh, I like, I like. <laughs> of course, and that's the good thing that you like it. If you like it, you enjoy it, right? Okay. Yes, I enjoy it. Excellent. Very good. I'm going to leave the room and I'm going to call you in one minute, okay? Okay. Oh, Thank yes. You. Very yes. good. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, Thank you. Okay, most of you are coming back. Thank you very much. And I think only four students, no more than four, are still in the breakout rooms and they will finish in some seconds. Ya en unos segundos están ellos de regreso. Okay, guys, so I was able to listen to you right in the breakout rooms. Some of you, not everyone. Um, la idea, chicos, era pues que se presentaran, ¿verdad? Y que si podían utilizar las frases que vimos ayer, pues that's fine, okay? Now, remember, if there is one thing I would like to highlight, right? La idea, pues, es que tengamos esa interacción con nuestros compañeros porque tal vez durante el día um, no tengo la oportunidad de hacerlo, but now you have the chance to put it, put everything into practice. Now, one more thing, ahora que estamos todos, ¿verdad? Eh, remember, con respecto pues a la clase en inglés, probablemente usted eh, de repente no va a entender la idea completa, ¿verdad? I, I try to speak as, as you know, um, slowly. Trato de hablar lo más despacio posible, right? Para que eh, cada pues palabra que vaya diciendo pues vaya eh, siendo clara. Eh, pero, ¿verdad? A, al, al principio pues nos cuesta adaptarnos, ¿verdad? Porque también es cambio de maestro. Pero no se preocupe, ¿ok? Así es al principio. Poco a poco se va a ir acostumbrando, ¿verdad? A escuchar de esa forma y va a llegar un punto en el que pues ya se ha acostumbrado tanto que ya no tiene ningún problema. No quiere decir que vamos a atender todo perfectamente porque a veces en mi caso pues hay cosas que y que dijo, ¿verdad? Entonces me toca re regresar y revisar a mí también. Bueno, yo escucho a otra persona, por ejemplo. Entonces, don't worry, that's very normal. And it happens, sucede, así que tranquilos, que poco a poco pues vamos a ir tomando ese, eh, vamos a decirlo así, eh, vamos a ir afinando el oído para que nos vayamos acostumbrando. Number two, guys, I strongly recommend, I strongly recommend to practice, right? Eh, ¿Qué nos recomienda, teacher? I recommend watching videos well if you like watching videos on youtube en mi caso pues me gustan bastante de hecho pues de youtube quizás lo que más puedo resaltar que me gusta es number one eh, audiobooks hay muchos audiobooks right um, i like to listen to audiobooks eh, two también hay podcasts right si usted tiene un podcast eh, que el, tal vez usted busca un podcast de algo que le guste That's going to be wonderful. Hay muchos sitios, ¿verdad? Que tienen. Uh, what else? You can listen to music in English. You can listen to music in English. And also you can um, uh, watch your favorite TV shows in English, right? So the idea is for you to improve your vocabulary, right? So, well, now that we have finished with the breakout rooms, right, I'm going to move on. Me voy a mover un poquito, ¿ok? Esto me sirvió a mí también para sondear. Eh, hay algunas personas que se sintieron muy cómodas usando las frases, hubieron otras que no, ¿verdad? Entonces la idea es que lo que tengo, lo que sé, eso es lo que voy a utilizar al momento de platicar con otros, ¿de acuerdo? ¿Y qué más, teacher? Bueno, practice. ¿verdad? Si usted de repente dice, quiero aprenderme estas frases porque quiero usarlas así como la teacher me la explicó, entonces, learn the phrases, 
¿verdad? Escríbalas, haga ejemplos, right? And put them into practice. Well, moving on, guys, to 1.2, right? We have, by the end of this lesson, participants will be able to understand and use possessive additives. Mine, your, his, her, its, our, and their. In order to introduce their names and to express possession. Now, for this particular point, I brought, well, this is from the, from the platform. Esto estaba en la plataforma, right? Um, here, guys, it says the statements would be in possessive adjectives. Eh, los possessive adjectives, chicos, por eso se llaman adjectives, right? Um, bueno, alguien me puede decir que es un adjetivo? What is an adjective? Raise your hand. Siempre para participar, recuerda levantar la mano. So who knows who, what is an adjective? Dígame, Lorena. Adjective is, um, califica el nombre sustantivo en Spanish. Exactly, correct, right? So the adjective is a word that describes a noun. Okay, so it gives qualities or qualific uh, yeah, qualities, I'm sorry, it qualifies a noun, califica el nombre, right? So lo describe, as uh, Lorena was saying, right? So that's an adjective, okay? So eh, in English, guys, adjectives go before nouns. Los adjetivos van antes del nombre en inglés, okay? For example, I can say, it's a beautiful day, beautiful day. It's a very delicious soup, delicious soup. She's an intelligent girl, intelligent girl. So in English, adjectives go before nouns. Los adjetivos van antes del nombre en inglés, right? It's not like in Spanish. In Spanish, it's a little bit different. Now, ¿qué más? Eh, well, como son possessive adjectives, ¿verdad? Y como en inglés los possessive adjectives van antes del noun, quiere decir que cada vez que yo use possessive adjectives, they will come before the noun. For example, I can say, this is my, my sister. This is my sister. My sister. Mine is the possessive adjective. Sister is the noun, es el nombre, right? Where I can say, oh, no, that's my book. That's my book. Possessive adjective, noun. Oh, don't worry. Don't worry. That's her piece of cake. Her piece of cake. Right? So, es de ella. La pieza de pastel, pedazo de pastel, right? So, that's her piece of cake. Her possessive adjective, piece of cake. Ahí va el noun. ¿Qué más? Bueno, en esta parte de acá, de Grammar Focus, guys, también vemos lo que son los statements with verb be. ¿Ok? Tenemos, I'm from Mexico. You're from Brazil. He's from Japan. She is a new club member. It's an exciting city. We're in the same class. There are my classmates. Now, with the verb be, guys, and for some reason, you know, most of the time we think it is a little bit confusing, right? But actually it's not. No es tan confuso. ¿Saben por qué? Bueno, ya les voy a explicar cómo funciona el verb be. Don't worry. Pero la verdad, guys, we only have three different, uh, uh, you know, um, forms of verb be in, in positive, negative, and question form, okay? So let me open up here something very quickly. Oops, no, no era este. Para, que, para poder ir marcando lo que voy explicando. Permítanme. ¿Qué color sería apropiado? Vámonos con este. Bye. Casi no se ve, pero bueno. So here, guys, eh, we have uh, the three uh, different forms. Well, and the contractions as well. So for the contraction of I am, you can use apostrophe M, am. For the contraction of R, you can use apostrophe RE, your. For the contraction of is, you use the apostrophe S and you go his, she's, and it's. For the contraction of R with we, we use apostrophe RE, we're, we're, we're busy. Hey, we're busy, we're in class, 
right? There, apostrophe R-E, there. Se parece al, a there, right? But it's there. Similar pronunciation, se parece la, la de pronunciación. And these are the possessive adjectives. Si es para I, my, and so on, que ya lo vamos a ver en detalle, ¿ok? ¿Alguna pregunta hasta el momento, chicos? Okay. No question, teacher. Very good. Let's continue then. So, these are some examples that you can find, you know, in the platform. But I would like to talk a little bit about three things. Hay que llamar a cada cosa por su nombre, chicos, ¿ok? Ahorita, lo que estamos viendo solo son los possessive adjectives. Esto no está en la plataforma, esta es información adicional, ¿verdad? Possessive adjectives, right? So, I have mine, your, his, her, our, and their, ¿ok? Y hay otros que se llaman possessive pronouns, pero no estamos viendo possessive pronouns. Pero se los pongo acá para que ustedes puedan diferenciar cuál es cuál. Right? Possessive adjectives, they go before the noun, van antes de los nombres. Y los possessive pronouns, ¿verdad? Se utilizan de una forma más simple. ¿Qué es un, pro, qué es un pronombre, chicos? What is a pronoun? Que sustituye el nombre. Exactly, correct, right? Pronoun is what replaces the noun. It's what replaces the noun. So these uh, pronouns, you know, have that function. Esa función es la que tienen los pronombres. These socks are hurts. En este caso, yo no vuelvo a decir these socks are her socks. <laughs> no, ¿verdad? No digo these socks are her socks. Mm -mm. Porque ya mencioné socks. So these socks are her. Estos calcetines son de ella. Right? Con adjectives es diferente. Porque aquí voy my socks, your socks, her socks, their socks, etc. Y tenemos una for tercera forma de possession que es el apostrofe S. Right? Pat's blouse, Julie's jeans. Rex's t-shirt, not t-shirt, but that's not t-shirt, right? And this is another topic, ¿verdad? Solo quería que vieran las tres diferentes formas de expresar posesión. ¿En cuál nos vamos a enfocar, teacher? Solo en la primera. Possessive adjectives, okay? Now, let's move on. Let's go ahead and mention very quickly, right? So for, you know, I, the possessive adjective is going to be my, okay, I, my, for you, is going to be your, y por eso chicos, y disculpen que me regrese acá, por eso se los puse acá, en la, en esta anterior, porque a veces me dicen, teacher, pero your lleva S, sí, pero sí es pronombre, ¿verdad? Entonces, si usted se fija, se parecen, pero no son igual. <laughs> ok, uh, por ejemplo, en pronouns, ¿verdad? Your lleva, perdón, you lleva yours, lleva S. También her, no solo es her, sino que es hers, ours y theirs, ¿verdad? Eso cambia, agregan una S al final, por eso no hay que confundirlos con los pronouns. Ahorita solo estamos hablando de possessive adjectives, ¿ok? Very good. Ay, perdón. Entonces, decíamos que para I is mine, for you is your, right? For he is his, right? For she va a ser her. Para we va a ser our. Para they va a ser their, para it será its, como así teacher, it, podemos expresar posesión con it, sí se puede, yo puedo decir, my computer, no, así, I like my computer, I like it very much, I like my computer, its color is blue, its color is blue, Right? Su color es azul, right? Or its color is funny, right? It's the eso, right? It's 
para cosas, ¿ok? So, luego, chicos, ustedes llegan a una parte de la plataforma que es el 1.4, ¿verdad? In 1.4, I'm sorry, you have to select, right, uh, complete the sentences by choosing the proper form of the or the correct possessive adjective, right? Y ahí van a completar el ejercicio. Recuérdense que yo los llevo aquí a través de lo que está en la plataforma, ¿ok? Eh, recuerde que la semana 1 es para la sección 1 y 2, ¿ok? Now, luego de eso, ¿verdad? Que ya tenemos una idea clara de cómo funcionan, perdón, de lo que son los possessive adjectives, right? Nos vamos a pasar un poquito a el punto 1.5. Okay, in 1.5, it says, by the end of this lesson, participants will be able to ask and answer questions with B using WH questions, words. <laughs> what, who, where, when, and how. Teacher, pero how no es WH. Sí está la WH, pero en un orden diferente, pero se cuenta dentro de ese, eh, o se incluye, perdón, dentro de ese grupo de palabras, right? So, what, who, where, when, and how, ¿ok? Entonces, aquí vamos a hablar un poquito, chicos, del tipo de pregunta, ¿ok? And I will let you know once we get there. Primero, antes de poder hablar de, de, de las preguntas en sí, quisiera hacer como un... Eh, un quick eh, review, ¿verdad? Después de que veamos lo de las preguntas del, con el verbi. Y espero que nos alcance el tiempo porque ya veo que son las y 44. Entonces, estas son questions that come from the conversation that we started yesterday, ¿ok? So, what's your name? Oh, my name's Marcela. Where's your friend? Ah, he's in the living room. He's in the class. Who's son he? Oh, she's my classmate, or she's my sister, right? Or she's a teacher. What are your classmates like? Oh, they're very nice, or mm, they're very serious. Where are you and Luisa from? We're from Brazil, or we're from El Salvador, or we're from San Miguel, right? How are your classes? Oh, they're really interesting. Oh, oh, they're really fun, okay? They're really, really good. Now, si usted se fija, vamos a ver. En cada una de estas preguntas, ¿verdad? Yo no doy ni un sí, ni un no. Okay, y esa es la diferencia entre las WH questions y las yes, no questions. For example, if I come and if I say, if I ask, I'm sorry, um, are you in this class? Are you in this class? Yes, I am. Exactly. Correct. Thank you. Yes, I am. Right. Are you happy today, guys? Yes, I am happy. Okay. Yes, I am. Yeah. Or yes, we are. Right. Okay. Uh, Etc. So, esas preguntas son yes, no questions. Entonces, las yes, no questions solo requieren de un sí o un no. Las WH questions o information questions are different, okay? And the formula or the, the elements that you include are different. Y ya voy a llegar a esa parte, okay? Where you can see um, that specific information. So I will move along. Me voy a ir mostrando las diapositivas de las diferentes secciones hasta llegar al repaso que vamos a tener del verb be. Ok, luego de esa parte, chicos, vamos en, la, en, en el Knowledge Check in 1.7, usted va a poner en práctica las diferentes WH Questions, que las vamos a ver el día de mañana de una forma rapidita, para que tengamos claro cuándo es que las utilizamos, ¿verdad? Cuando utilizo where, when do I use how, when do I use who, um, what, why, etc. Entonces, van a poner en práctica algunas de las WH words, ¿verdad? In exercise 1.7. So, after that, we have, we get to this part in lesson objective for, uh, I mean, it's point 1.8, right? And it says, in this lessons, participants will listen to a conversation between two people where yes, no questions and short answers 
um, with be are introduced. Ok, ahora vamos a ver la diferencia. ¿Entre qué, teacher? Entre la conversación que vimos ayer y la conversación que estamos, que estamos a punto de ver, right? So, this is the second conversation, right? And if you want, let me see if I have the first conversation available here. Voy a abrir la otra conversación para que la tomemos como referencia. So the conversation from yesterday was this one. Esta era la de ayer, right? Hello, I'm David Garza. I'm a new club member. Hi, my name is Elizabeth Silva, but please call me Beth. Oh, okay. Where are you from, Beth? Where are you from? Or where are you from? <laughs> right? So it depends on the intonation there. So where are you? Where are you from? Right? Primera pregunta. Brazil. How about you? How about you? I'm from Mexico. Oh, I love Mexico. It's really beautiful. Thanks. So it's Brazil. Oh, good. Some he is here. Who's son he? Who's son he? Oh, she's my classmate. We're in the same math class. Where's she from? Korea. Let's go and say hello. Sorry. What's your last name again? Gar Garcia? Actually, it's Garza. How do you spell that? G-A-R-Z-A. -A, Garza. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and highlight the questions. I mean, the answers. Ahora vamos a resaltar las respuestas, right? Where are you from? Brazil. How about you? I'm from Mexico. Whose son he? She's my classmate. Where's she from? Korea. What's your last name again? Garza. Actually, it's Garza. How do you spell that? G-A-R-Z-A. -A. Now, pay attention to these guys. De aquí. Vamos a saltar a las yes, no questions, okay? So these are what we would call in Spanish open questions, right? So if these are, I mean, if, if you want to know details, you ask WH questions. Si usted quiere saber detalles específicos, entonces la pregunta correcta es una WH question o una information question, okay? Ahora lo vamos a comparar con la que estamos viendo este día. Entonces, la de este día es esta. Hey, David, how is it going? Fine, thanks. How are you? Pretty good. So, are your classes interesting this semester? Hmm. Ahí tenemos la primera pregunta que es una yes, no question. So, are your classes interesting this semester? And he answers, yes, they are. I really, I mean, I really love chemistry. Chemistry, <laughs> right? Chemistry. Are you and Beth in the same class? Are you and Beth in the same class? Oh, no, we aren't. My class is in the morning. Her class is in the afternoon. Listen, I'm on my way to the cafeteria now. Are you free? Are you free? Okay. And the answer is sure. Oh, puede decir, yes, I am, right? Are you free? Yes, sure, let's go, right? Are you and Beth in the same class? No, we aren't, okay? Entonces, that's the difference, guys, between WH questions and yes, no questions, right? So this one, um, yes, no questions, will uh, ask only for a yes or a no as an answer, okay? Any questions so far? Okay, very good. Now, then, ya dentro de la plataforma, you move to 1.10, right? Which is lesson objective. And it says, by the end of this class, I mean, by the end of these lessons, participants will be able to make yes, no questions, and give short answers with B, okay? 
eso también es en la plataforma, right? So it says yes, no questions and sure the answers. Esas son las que hemos tomado del, de la conversación que acabamos de, de leer, right? So are you free? Yes, I am. No, I am not. Is David from Mexico? Yes, he is. Or no, he's not. Or no, he isn't. Is best class in the morning? Yes, it is. Or no, it's not. Or no, it isn't. Are you and Beth in the same class? Yes, we aren't. No, we're not. Or no, we aren't. Are you are your class interesting? Yes, they are. No, they're not. Or no, they aren't. Now, guys, ¿qué es lo que quiero resaltar de acá? Veamos. Uh, first, write um, that the short answers, right, are these ones. Esto es a lo que llamamos short answers. Hay unas formas negativas que tienen dos. Por ejemplo, is not, apostrophe, is, and then not, or isn't. Con verb e, are, apostrophe, are, e, and then not, or aren't. Cualquiera de las dos es correcta. Usted decide cuál es la que quiere utilizar. ¿Ok? La única que solo tiene una forma es esta, ¿verdad? I'm not. Apostrophe M and then not. ¿Ok? Very good. Ahora, me voy a pasar a esa estructura. No, sí, está aquí en la plataforma, pero yo les voy a presentar una ahorita. ¿Ok? Now, hay algo, chicos, que yo siempre menciono o que para, que para mí es bien importante como esta comparación. No bueno, una comparación, sino que yo al, al verb B le llamo the independent guy. Ok, el chico independiente. Why? Because it, it doesn't need auxiliaries. No necesita auxiliares para ser positive, negative, or question form. Right? Dígame, Francis. Este, I have a question, teacher. Es sobre la plataforma. Yes. Eh, eh, después de ese grammar focus del, de la, del B question, hay un ejercicio que es sobre de complementar. En ese ejercicio nosotros vamos a responder ya sea de forma positiva o negativa, pero solo de forma corta. Mm, can you give me the number? Ay, no anoté el número. Ah, ok. Bueno, sí, solo, eso se me olvidó decírselos ayer, chicos. Siempre que traigan preguntas a la clase, no olviden anotar el, el número de sección, right? Para que sea más rápido. Eh, Creo que es la sección 2. Ah, no es la 1 entonces, es la sección 2. Sí, Creo que sí, la 2. Veamos. Eh, ¿Qué número de la sección 2, perdón? No, no, eso no lo tengo. Entonces, si quiere, búsquelo yo... ahorita, mientras yo termino bye, de bye, dar bye. la explicación. Ajá, y luego pues bye. lo revisamos. Uh -huh. Vaya. Entonces, guys, les decía, eh, bird to be is like an independent guide. ¿Por qué? Porque él solito puede eh, convertirse en positivo o negativo. Pregunta, right? So, that's one of the advantages, right, of um, using the verb be because you don't have to worry about it. Sin embargo, right, eh, cuando nosotros hablamos del verb be, debemos tener clara la estructura. Okay? So, these are the different elements, right, that I need to have in you know the um in the in the sentence i'm sorry right so first i need to have my subject then the verb be que son tres formas am is or are and then a complement for example teacher well i can say uh, my daughter is in the living room my students are in the class right? Uh, my mother is at her house, right? Um, my kitchen is dirty, right? Or my bedroom is um, untidy, 
right? This is all what you have to do is to follow the pattern and to include the elements, right? If it is a negative sentence, you need a subject, verb to be in negative and a complement, okay? So in that case, you're going to use it in the best way that you'd like. You can say I'm not, or you can say isn't or is not, aren't or are not, plus the complement, okay? Now, para las yes, no questions, necesitamos el verb be al principio. Aquí es donde ocurre un switch, right? Subject, you know, and verb be switch, switch uh, they switch places, right? So the subject comes and takes the second position and the verb be comes and takes the first position, plus a complement, plus a question mark. Esta fórmula es para las yes, no questions. Teacher, pero ¿cómo voy a hacer cuando sea una information question? Cuando sea una WH question? Well, that's very easy, right? So, anteponemos las WH words o las WH phrases antes de toda la fórmula. ¿Cómo así, teacher? WH word o WH phrases? Sí. Por ejemplo, si yo pregunto, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Solo es una palabra, where, antes de la fórmula. Entonces es una WH word. Pero si yo pregunto, what time? What time is the meeting? What time is the meeting? Or uh, what, what time, también decimos, what time is the meeting? El what time no es una palabra, es una frase, right? Or, well, I can give you more examples and we can go on. But here, the main idea is that si es una WH question, las WH words o las WH phrases, they go before the verb be. Uh, antes de toda la fórmula y antes del verb be. Okay? Eh, ¿Hay alguna pregunta, chicos? Ok, eh, dígame. Oh, bueno, pensé que alguien tenía pregunta. Mañana igual vamos a hacer un repaso de esto, pero luego de acá, ¿verdad? Viene un knowledge check que está en 1.12, right? And after that, the last part is a reading, ¿verdad? Esa es la última parte y pues... Eh, no hay problema, lo leemos mañana, ¿verdad? Y cabal creo que nos quedan, yo cuando son dos secciones agarro dos días para cada una, ¿verdad? O sea, el día de ayer y el día de hoy para section one y mañana he pasado para section two, pero igual hacemos un quick review de sesión, de la sección uno el día de mañana, ¿de acuerdo? Eh, siempre que hayan preguntas, tráigalas acá a la clase y por favor, Escriba el número, ¿verdad? Para que lo podemos encontrar rápido. Las preguntas de la plataforma generalmente eh, yo recomiendo hacerlas a media clase para que no sean al final de la clase porque, por ejemplo, ahorita ya se acabó el tiempo, ¿verdad? Entonces ya no me puedo quedar más tiempo. Pero si la hacemos a media clase, ¿verdad? Pues tenemos media hora todavía para poder contestar preguntas, ¿de acuerdo? Así que, chicos, pues me quedo por acá, ¿verdad? Y el día de mañana, pues, nos vemos a la misma hora, ¿de acuerdo? Good night, teacher. Okay. See you tomorrow. Good night. Thanks, See you teacher. tomorrow. Good night. Thank you. Bye-bye, guys. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.